Okay, this one is on the Ream RGDA, uh, continuing with troubleshoot. Okay, earlier uh, in an earlier video, we looked at this thing with no heat, nothing was happening, and power issues, and so on. Uh, what we're going to look at now is hot surface igniter problems and ignition control problems. These are, you know, they're no heat, but uh, they're very similar in their symptoms to uh, uh, no power. The control, let's see if I can show you that control closer there. Um, it's a Robert Shaw, and it's the HS780. Uh, it doesn't have any lights on it that blink telling it it's out or anything like that. We're going to try a couple of problems with it, and we'll see... Uh, what we find. In order to tell if we got power, one of the things that, that will work well for this thing is if I put a jumper across, uh, now I've, I've killed the power to the furnace and then I've turned it back on. I don't have a thermostat hooked up to it right now. So you hear that click. Okay, that's that control beginning its cycle. Now, momentarily, the hot surface igniter should start to glow. See if we can get zeroed in on that hot surface igniter. Now, there's the base. Okay, we got the uh, thermostat calling. And the hot surface igniter should be on. I don't see it on. There's no glow. Gas valve on. Gas valve off. Nothing happened. Uh, just nothing at all. Now this thing tries three times and then it shuts down and it does not retry. The only way you can get it to retry is kill the power either the 120 or the 24 and uh, then it'll try another three times. But it didn't, nothing happened. So my problem is either in the control or in the hot surface igniter. The hot surface igniter is going to be the easiest thing to check, so we're going to go ahead and set up our meter on the hot surface igniter. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ohm out the hot surface igniter because it's the easiest thing. Now here's the plug right here. Push in the doohickeys and uh, you'll notice I am in ohms on my meter. I put my two probes, double check my probes, be sure they zero out. They did. Go across the hot surface igniter. I still have OL. So, hot surface igniter is a failure on this thing. And I'll show it to you here and see what a failure is. Okay, there's my hot surface igniter. I pulled it out. And you can see that little white spot. That's your failure right there. A little white spot right there. So it's open. We need a new hot surface igniter. There goes your hot surface igniter. And the flames come along the spreader tube. It's proved. And there goes your burner. Uh, one other thing while I'm thinking about it, these wire nuts here, they really shouldn't be up to where they can see the flame. There is a cover it comes down over here. When you first come onto this thing, you can't see these burners because there's a cover that comes down. It kind of protects here. And there are ceramic wire nuts you're supposed to use in these things. Uh, yeah, sometimes they use them. They're really hard to get to hold on. And sometimes they come off. But these things will melt if you're not careful. So you want to keep them kind of out of the way as much as possible for the burners. Uh, so that they don't directly see the burners.
One other thing I would say, when you're positioning that bracket with a hot surface igniter on it, uh, it may take a little tweaking around with that. Occasionally they won't prove flame unless it's in just the right position. So if it doesn't prove flame, uh, you know, which means it's simply the gas valve comes on and then shuts off after four or five seconds. Uh, tweak around a little bit with this bracket in here uh, and you'll probably get it to work okay. And that's a hot surface igniter.